Hello YouTubers, Manny here coming to you from Manny's How To Workshop with another project that I'm doing at my home. Basically, I'm uh, building up the fence on this side of the house um, after the property lines were resurveyed um, between me and the neighbor because originally her fence that's way back there, um, which is actually uh, uh, this one right here on the other side was actually two feet into my property so we had to go ahead and readjust that and give me back my two feet so now I'm getting down to actually putting up my own fence and I chose to go with uh, using galvanized posts uh, instead of the 4x4 pressure treated because I want a more permanent uh, result so basically in the future if I ever have to replace the boards, it's just the boards. I won't have to dig the holes and uh, reset the posts. The posts will already be there, which makes it a whole lot easier. And also, the method that I used uh, by doing it this way will make sure that the fence lasts way more, uh, a lot longer. Uh, probably like good 10, 15 years, easy. Why? Because I'm making my own frame instead of the pre prefabricated frames that are chintzy and thin and the pickets don't last long because they're thin and whatnot so uh, this is what I'm doing all right so basically uh, the posts are set at eight foot centers uh, with the exception of the very back over there I got about a two foot um, space there uh, on that side right there but uh, other than that the gap between uh, here and here and there like I said is uh, 8 foot centers on the posts. I dug the holes 27 inches uh, to allow a couple more inches for gravel at the bottom and then uh, setting the posts at 24 inches uh, using uh, quick creek concrete you know 3000 psi uh, concrete which sets pretty quick because here in Florida, you know, you got to do this outside and, of course, you know, there's always, uh, we're in the rainy season, so there's always a chance for rain in the afternoon, so you got to play it by air and try to knock it out as quick as possible. So, like I said, post is set at 8 foot centers, hole dug 27 inches deep for a couple inches of gravel at the bottom, uh, mixed concrete, poured it in there, set it with the uh, post level, and... After that, give it a day to cure, come back and start installing these brackets. Uh, so let me get over here and show you what, what kind of brackets I'm talking about. So these brackets here, um, they're made for attaching uh, wood to galvanized posts. As you can see, um, I use some outside lag screws. And uh, also on the bottom right here, I put in some uh, deck screws. Uh, going up that just has added security you know just to make it more sturdier uh, this here is held this clamp is held by uh, this 13 millimeter nut with a what looks like a it's a rounded head uh, screw which on the wood what I did was I uh, drilled a hole to make a recess for the head so that way uh, I can end up getting uh, the wood will end up being uh, flush, okay? Like there, you can see that it's nice and flush on the uh, on the bracket. Uh, takes time to do it right, obviously, um, but hey, the end result is a professional-looking uh, job that you can be proud of. Uh, on this side here, as you can see, I went ahead and used these uh, brackets here that are made for 2x4s to attach it to the post of this existing fence of my neighbor and that gives it a nice resting place uh, using number 8 1 inch Tex uh, screws uh, to hold them in three places uh, one on this side one on the opposite side and one uh, underneath also uh, I shored that up because the fence post wasn't leveled, so I braced it up against the house just to make sure that uh, the top is leveled. 
so I can run this uh, support here all the way across. And what I ended up doing, I, I bought uh, 10 foot sections to do uh, these last two. Since you know it's eight for center and then extra two feet overhang, I just bought a 10 foot section. That way you get a nice solid piece uh, going across. And the, these here, these supports, uh, I measured from top to bottom and split the difference and I believe they're like 32, 32 and a half inches from the bottom kickboard to the center and then to the top. But I did have to make some adjustments uh, for the top because I ran out of uh, 4x4 at the end over there on the top right there. So. It, you can see if it'll focus uh, yeah if you can see right and I know my fingers blurry so you know what let me just come over here and show you okay so basically you can see there's the top of the 4x4 so I had to drop the bracket down enough to where the screws could attach to it and that made me drop all the rest of the brackets on the top uh, down, which is fine, you know, it doesn't matter because the pickets are going to go on this side here when I'm standing, so this whole side is going to be smooth with pickets. But you can see that it does a nice job. Also, this bottom kickboard is a 2x6 pressure treated, all the supports 2x4s are pressure treated. Okay, just to give you an angle of how straight everything is, like I said. You take your time, measure everything, do it right, and it's gonna come out looking excellent. Like I said, the back measurement from the corner of the house there to here, okay, is exact, going across. That way I can get make sure it's nice and square. And right here for the front, I'm gonna end up putting two gates, which I'm gonna build uh, using the pressure treated two by four and adding some, you know, some supports, cross braces to make it more sturdy and uh, and that will be on the next upcoming video. Well, thanks for watching, guys. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, take care.